Sample problem tayo for uh, Stadia Survey. So in this problem, I think this is a combination of uh, computing horizontal and vertical uh, distances. So makikita natin mamaya. No? So ang uh, problem natin, let, uh, let's read with the first part. Uh, transit with Stadia constant equal to 0.30 is, is used to determine the horizontal distance between points B and C. And meron tayong binigay na Stadia intercept reading of 1.85 meters and then distance BC is equal to 182.87 meters. Okay. So, ang uh, required first part is to compute the stadia interval factor of the instrument, which is just uh, basically K. Okay. So, didrawin lang natin yung uh, given natin. Uh, gawa lang tayo ng figure dito. So, this is your transit. This one is your surface. And then, ito yung uh, stadia natin. And then, yung sinasabi dyan na distance is actually from the center line of your transit to this uh, particular line. So, this is the distance BC, this is point B, this is point C, that's 182.87 meters, okay? And then you have the stadia constant equal to 0.30, that's actually the F plus C equal 0.30, okay? Yung uh, stadia intercept naman na reading, which is uh, 1.85, dito natin yan makikita sa reading natin. No? So, meron tayong straight, meron tayong upper reading, meron tayong lower reading, and then, that's actually the S. No? Yung upper tsaka minor, uh, lower, upper minus lower, that's actually the S. Which is now equivalent to 1.85 meters. Okay. So, ang required sa atin is K. Dito tayo mag-start sa distance formula natin, which is uh, D, which is equal to K, S, plus F, plus C. And then in this case, meron tayong DBC is just equal to KSBC plus F plus C. Okay? And then, kukunin natin yung K, yung equation ng K natin ay magiging K, which is just equal to uh, DBC minus your F plus C divided by your SBC. So, this is SBC. Okay? So, that's uh, just equal to you have DBC is 182. It's 182.87 minus 0.3 divided by 1.85. 98.69 na K. Okay? That's 98.69. Run off na natin. Okay? So, that's, uh, that's it for K. For the second part of our uh, sample problem, meron tayo dito, no? using the same instrument, determine the difference in elevation between B and D if the stadia intercept is 2.42 meters and D is at a vertical angle of positive degree, uh, 6 degrees 30 minutes from B. Okay, so sketch lang natin. Meron tayong transit na nakatingala no? kasi uh, palitan natin yung kulay. No? Nakatingala kasi positive na 6 degrees yung yung uh, angle natin. No? So, ito yung stand, tapos ito yung uh, surface natin. And then, this one is actually point B. And, th and then, this one here is actually point D. No? So, dyan yung stadia natin. And then, meron tayong site. Yung site natin is uh, 6 degrees from the horizontal. Ito yung site natin. Meron tayong lower tsaka upper. And then, palitan natin yung kulay. This is the horizontal horizontal na line. Yung alpha natin, yan, dito yung alpha. No? From the middle to the horizontal line, that's alpha equals 6 degrees 30 minutes. Or that's simply equivalent to 6.5 degrees. Okay? And then, ang uh, um, required sa atin is a uh, difference in elevation between B and D. Okay? So, stadia intercept is 2.42. So, ito yan, ha? Uh. The stadia intercept is S, which is uh, 2.42 meters. Now, the difference in elevation here can be computed based from this one. Huh? Itong line na to. So, this one to this line. Oops. To this line. So, yung line of sight natin. So, this one is the difference in elevation V. Okay? So, papangalanan natin yung V. Yung difference in elevation natin, V, B, D. 
Pero in reality, ang kukunin talaga natin na difference in elevation dito is dito, no? Elevation ng lupa. Tsaka elevation ng lupa din dito. So that's uh, point D and this one is point B. Pero dito kasi sa sample problem natin, walang binigay na HI or yung height of instrument. Uh, supposedly, meron kang height of instrument dito, eh, no? This one should be HI. Pero assume na lang natin, no? I-assume na lang natin na yung HI natin tsaka ito pareho, eh, no? Pareho yung uh, distance yan, HI. Pero pag, pag nag-survey tayo, dapat alam natin yung middle na recording. Tapos alam natin yung height dito, no? Para masubtract natin yung mga height dito tsaka yung mga reading na nakukuha natin dito. Kasi ang, ang totoong difference of elevation talaga nito, we have this one, VD, VBD. Parang ganito yan, you know? The difference in elevation is just equal to VBD. Bali, ito yung distance na to. Plus yung HI natin. Yung HI natin. And then, yung height na ito. No? So, HI prime. Lagyan natin ang prime. Minus HI prime. Or yung height ng dito, yung na-record. Pero since wala tayong na-record na walang binigay si problem na height dito, i-assume lang natin no, na pareho lang yung HI dito na height tsaka yung height dito para yung difference nila pareho lang. No? Yung difference dito is same lang sa difference na to. Okay? Kasi if, if um, manari, sa assumption natin, if if HI is equal to HI prime, magiging dif dif uh, difference in elevations is equal to V, V, D. Okay? Pero in reality, we have to check na Pareho ba talaga? No? Kasi in most cases, hindi talaga pareho yung HI prime tsaka yung HI. No? So, ang mangyayari, ito yung uh, general equation to solve for the difference in elevation. VBD, ito, i-compute nyo to tapos i-add nyo sa height of instrument, tapos sa subtract nyo sa record, makukuha mo ngayon yung totoong difference in elevation, which is this line. No? Ito yung difference talaga na line, difference ng elevation no? in reality. Ito talaga yan. Ito talaga yan. No? Since uh, wala namang binigay na reading kasi ng middle na crosshair natin, so i-assume natin na uh, uh, ito yung case no? na HI equals HI prime tapos VBD lang yung difference in elevation. Pero, yun nga, no? ito talaga yung kukunin talaga natin na difference in elevation. Kasi lahat ng survey naman dapat sa surface ng uh, surface uh, naka-measure yung mga kinukuha nating measurements. Okay. So, patuloy tayo. Uh, assuming na lang na HI is just the same as HI prime. So, ang uh, difference in elevation natin is just equal to uh, vertical distance from B to D. So, meron tayong equation yan, vertical distance from B to D. We have VD, uh, VBD, uy, iba na yung kulay pero okay lang. So, VBD is just equal to K. And then, we have um, S, uh, vertical distance Sine alpha cosine alpha plus F plus C sine alpha. No? So, dinarive natin to sa other video natin. Yung S natin lang dun sa video natin is AB. No? Which is just the uh, upper minus lower na reading. Okay? So, VBD, vertical distance. And K natin, nakuha natin kanina as 98.69. Same, uh, same instrument kasi daw yung gagamitin. No? And then we have S, yung S natin is uh, 2.42, so that's uh, 2.42 sine of uh, 6.5, cosine 6.5, plus, we have plus, ang um, stadia interval fact, uh, stadia constant natin is uh, 0 0.3 times sine of 6.5 degrees. Okay? Degrees, degrees. Okay. So, VBD equals, medyo mahaba-haba yung equation natin. So, we have 98.69 times 2.42 times sine 6.5 times cosine 6.5 plus 0.3 sine 6.5 that's 26.896 or 
That's 26.9 meters. Okay? So, uh, yan na yung uh, difference in elevation natin from point B to point D. Okay? So, assuming nga ulit na na HI or the height of instrument is the same as the record dito, no? Na ang stadia natin. HI prime tsaka HI. Anyway, yun yung vertical na distance natin. For the horizontal distance, uh, same pa rin na figure yung uh, drawing natin. Pero ito na ngayon yung required sa atin. No? Yan, ito. Yung... Uh, uh, horizontal H B D H horizontal distance B D okay so yung horizontal distance uh, B D meron nito ang equation na niya no, na derive natin the last time so yeah horizontal distance uh, B D is equal to K uh, S uh, tapos uh, cosine squared alpha plus F plus C cosine alpha okay so, HBD, or happy birthday, is just equal to K. Ano nga ba yung K natin? 96.69. Oh, we have 98.69. Oops. Cosine squared, 6.5 degrees. Lagyan natin ang bracket para masaparate lang sa pangalawang ano, terms. Then, we have 0.3. Plus uh, 0 0.30 cosine 6.5 degrees. Okay? So, we have HBD sa equivalent to ito tayo sa ano, 98.69 times cosine squared. Paano ba cosine squared dito sa ano natin? Cosine squared. Ay, hindi pala. No? Si delete. Dalawang cosine na lang gagawin natin. Ha? That's uh, cosine 6.5 times cosine 6.5 yan plus 0 0.30 cosine 6.5 yun that's 97.72 meters tama ba? Uh, tama ba yung equation natin? 6.5, 6.5 kulang tayo ng uh, S Wala tayong nalagay na S, dapat may S tayo dito. Yung interval factor, that's uh, 2.42. 2.42 meters. So, we have 236.07. 236.07 meters. That's the horizontal distance natin. Huh? From B to D. Okay? Ito, tama ba? 236.07. Kasi meron na tayong K, may S... And then, dito, kulang dito eh, no? Dapat may K dyan. Tilitan natin na para mas clear. Uh, dapat meron tayong K dito na. Uh, K na 98.69 tapos S na 2.42. 2.42 cosine uh, 6.5 squared degrees plus yun, yung... Uh, 0 0.30 cosine 6.5 degrees. Yan. Tapos ito na yung final answer natin. 236.07 meters. Okay? So, yun. Yun na yung final answer yata. Ano? Horizontal, we have vertical, and then we have the... Okay. So, again, no, take note dito sa ano natin. Dapat uh, aware tayo dito. Uh, lalo na no, pag uh, nasa field tayo. No? Hindi pwedeng ito ay talaga yung ano. No? Kailangan na lang i-verify natin yung HI. Susukatin talaga yan na yung height of instrument at yung reading dito ng middle. Middle na reading, ha? middle na crosshair. Yan yung height dito ng stadia. Okay? So, yun. Yun na yun para sa sample problem na to. And thank you ulit for watching and see you sa next na video natin.